find new markets and building success for the world's top food brands. This has been done even in times of a weak economy. I hope my thoughts are helpful in your growth and success. Segmenting your customer base uh, offers you opportunities to duplicate success with one customer throughout the channel very quickly to deploy it. When you uh, start thinking about your programs, your offerings, your packaging, the sizes, the quality, and the, and the retail pricing, and the structure of how you go to I think it's very appropriate to segment your business into uh, direct-to-consumer, retail, and then food service. And when you think about your offering uh, for these channels and you begin to build pro formas and look at profitability by channel, it allows you to start thinking about uh, the profitability of each channel. It lets you look at the quality, the pricing, the packaging, and the programs that you offer and how you go to market in each channel. Specifically, uh, when you start to get into the actual channels, there's a lot of different retail channels um, for customers. There's, a, there's many different food service channels, and there's also different methods in which you can go direct to consumer. In the retail segment, there's uh, you have the traditional supermarkets, you have fresh format, limited assortment, you have the super warehouses. In the uh, traditional supermarkets, you have uh, they generally do more than $2 million a year in sales by location and they'll, they'll offer anywhere from 15 to 50,000 SKUs. You'll have people, uh, customers in this segment, such very large customers such as Publix, Kroger, Safeway, HEB and Food Lion. Then you have the smaller uh, retailers within the same channel. Uh, in the fresh format, you're gonna have Fresh Market and uh, Whole Foods. And then in the uh, limited assortment format, you're gonna have uh, customers like Save-A-Lot and Aldi. What's exciting, one of the things that's going on right now is save a lot. You've got the drug channel and then limited assortment stores testing and forming out in Greenville, South Carolina right now with the, uh, the Rite Aid save a lot, uh, dual, dual locations. Um, super warehouses, uh, you have high volume uh, places that do, they have a, carry a tremendous amount of items uh, and they, they offer a very large format and they have locations like uh, Cub Foods, Smart and Final, Food for Less. And then also you have the convenience stores and small groceries, which uh, do less than $2 million a year per sales on the food items. I mentioned convenience stores, and in the convenience store segment, you have, I like to divide the convenience store segment between retail chains and then independent operators. Uh, almost half the industry in the convenience store segment is uh, single store operators, and then you have the chain accounts like uh, 7-Eleven, uh, Quick Trip, and uh, different, different uh, corporate buying offices for the various chains around the country. And then in where you really need to focus, and this allows you to start thinking about your offerings, you want to look at channels that are growing. And the non-traditional channels is where so much of the action is happening now in the food segment. In that segment, you're going to start thinking about, if you're not already thinking about, you should think about clubs, super centers, dollar stores, mass, and the military segment. Uh, club stores, specifically, you have about almost four, well, uh, between 12 and 1400 locations around the country uh, divided into about th three different customers. You've got Sam's, Costco, and BJ's and they're looking for a bulk, a bulk pallet presentation. And so that's going to all, that, that tells you what your pricing is going to be, what your programs, uh, your, your packaging, what it is you have to do for success in that channel and uh, it allows you to think of success by that channel. You can build a pro forma for that specific channel. The super centers almost 170,000 square feet. Uh, they offer grocery and mass together. You're probably you know, very familiar with the Walmart super centers and the Target super centers, also the Meyer stores in the Midwest. Uh, dollar stores, about half of their sales are food. So you've got uh, Dollar General, Dollar Tree, and uh, Family Dollar in that segment. Also, you have the military and uh, mass. For the military, you have uh, almost a million, million folks uh, in the military, along with all the retired folks, which uh, works out to about 2 million people that have the commissary privilege among 240 uh, different commissaries worldwide. The food service is also segmented, and some of the drivers for success in food service are dependent on that channel. For instance, you have uh, fast food, casual dining, upscale, hotels, business and industry, healthcare, and institutional food service. Um, what, what you need to think about success is, um, is success going to be driven by the distributor? Is it driven by the chef in the restaurant? Is it driven by placement on the menu? And it only, the menu only changes once a year. So it gives you an idea of what kind of success that you need. Um, 
I hope all this information helps as far as segmenting. If you segment your business internally and think about your product offerings segmented by channel, it'll allow you to find success much quicker. Thank you for watching today. There are many more ideas, suggestions, and helpful tips and templates at my site, timforest.com. Have a great day and much success.